It's construction time again. So on the one side of my home office, I've got that server cabinet that's full of networking gear, uh, gaming rigs, servers, battery backups, the whole nine yards. And on the other side of it, in this room, I've got a whole lot of nothing. Time to fix that. Today, I will be constructing what I call, TM, the world's most comfortable gaming setup. So come along for the ride. Cooler Master's Mastercase Maker 5 features their freeform modular system, allowing you to customize, adjust, and upgrade. Make it yours at the link in the video description. So first things first, we're gonna take this Samsung 65 inch curved SUHD TV up to the room and do a test fit. Something that I actually have not done yet. So. so the position of the TV is actually gonna be one of the things that makes this the most comfortable gaming setup. We could have just put it against the wall right here and put like a chair over here and called it a day, but no. That is not the world's most comfortable. So no, the TV is actually gonna mount to this 55 degree wall and the viewer will actually sit right here. There we go. Of course, this is not that comfortable. And this, the pillow sack provided by lovesack.com is the solution to that problem get this in there. Ugh. So what makes this the optimal piece of furniture? A beanbag chair is that I can get the user reclined at exactly the angle that the TV will be at above him. See that? Oh yeah. Hey, do you guys mind uh, throwing the TV up here so I can see what the viewing distance is gonna look like? I'd imagine this is what it's like to be ludicrously wealthy. You wouldn't actually mount anything. You would just have like, you would just have staff on hand that would just move things and hold them wherever you need them. So it'll probably be about eight or 12 inches off the wall. This is going to be freaking sick. Okay, thanks guys. Awesome, let's get started. But we've got some challenges to overcome in here first. The keen eyed among you might have noticed that this room other than this horrible light fixture up here, has no power, no network, and in fact, has no insulation, just like the one on the other side. And if you're gonna have a most comfortable gaming setup, well, the plan better be to have it in an insulated room, don't you think? In fact, the only electronics in this room right now are this Chubb Caretaker from, uh, what appears to be this chip was manufactured in 92. Okay, somebody spread that insulation around. Well, that explains why the garage was so cold during the early days of Linus Media Group. We were all working out of there. There was no insulation. It would want to come quite low because remember it's little kids. Okay, it, so. so I'm thinking for, instead of trying to match the base in here, we'll just go with a flat stock trim. With everything ripped off the wall, let's go through the plan in a little bit more detail. It's changed a fair bit from the original concept and now it's gonna be kind of like a cool kids play area as well. So this hunk of wall right here is actually gonna have a framed like metal plate that goes down to about here. It's gonna be like a cool magnet wall. This right here is gonna be power for a reading lamp. And right here is gonna be another beanbag kind of uh, lounger that's kid-sized for them to sit and read. The bookshelves will be covered in books and DVDs and games. And then 
here we've roughed in the spot where the TV is going to go. So we played around with our mount a little bit and it looks like it's gonna end up on, I believe it was, yeah. It's gonna go as far left as it can on these two. So our power is gonna come out kind of in the center and then our data connection. So we're gonna have ethernet for the back of the TV as well as Samsung's One Connect doodad right here. So that way, all of our HDMI inputs can actually be over here on this wall and just this one cable needs to run between that and the TV itself. Over on this wall, I'm gonna have everything wall mounted. PC, Xbox, network switch, so that everything has networking running over to the other room and anything else that uh, I could see fit, including this one connect box itself, which is going to be powered. Oh, it doesn't use separate power. Oh, that's cool. I guess it's powered by the TV. This box right here is gonna provide power for everything that's mounted to this wall and is also going to give us, with the access panel that we're gonna build in over here, the ability to vent this room later on in the future if we decide to do that, but we may not. Up here, we're gonna do two six inch dimmable pot lights. Um, and then the room itself, I believe the ceiling is going to be black and the walls are gonna be kind of brightly colored and and fun, so hopefully we have enough light, but we can get it dark enough for our really great movie gaming experience. This crappy little side table from Ikea is going to be cut off and is gonna be beanbag chair height and is gonna sit right here next to the beanbag with another little lamp on it, just in case you wanna sit on this one and read. And the carpet is gonna be replaced because who puts artificial turf in their house? Okay, Linus, so that's great. That's what everyone but you is doing. What are you actually contributing to this project? Ah, yes, I have something. I am going to be building a sick wall-mounted computer to go in that room to power the gaming experience on the ceiling-mounted TV. How do you build a wall-mounted computer? Well, you could DIY it, I guess, but I'm gonna be taking the easy route using a Lian Lee PC-06SX. Let's get this baby put together. So for the motherboard, we went with a Maximus 8 Gene. This is pretty much the no compromises MATX board for LGA 1150. It supports SLI and Crossfire. It's got all the outputs you could want and build quality to match. Our CPU and RAM choices are admittedly kind of overkill. We're using a Core i7-6700K quad-core with hyper-threading and 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 memory. But, I mean, hey, maximum comfort requires maximum performance, right? Right? Really cool case. Okay. They've got some cases that have astonishingly bad thermals. See, it's little things like this that drive me crazy with not just Lee and Lee, all case manufacturers. You couldn't spring for three more Ziplocs? Every computer manufacturer hates me personally. Me feels like a perfect choice for this machine. So without cross threading it. Just give it the old. Ah! All right, so this baby's ready. Let's bring it back upstairs and find something else to do. I'm gonna be taking some of the leftover Cat5e cable from my how to run ethernet outside your house video, which you can check out right over here. And I'm gonna be running it from my server room across the peak. I'm actually gonna to have to crawl through a crawl space in my attic over to the new room so that, you know, whether it's games or whether it's Netflix, I don't have to worry about a wireless connection being a bottleneck. Wired only, baby. You know what? I'm gonna get myself a headlamp. 
Hold on, I'm gonna poke a wire through over there first. See it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going back in. So are you going to the other side now? Yeah, I'm gonna crawl all the way to the other side. Can't wait for you to add the other side. Yeah, you might be able to see me if you uh, poke your head in. Okay, so this clip is uh, having just gone in from the server room. I have to crawl through that hole. Oh my god, Dennis just fell down. <laughs> what the hell, Dennis? Please don't fall through my ceiling. Dennis, did you put your foot through my ceiling? Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I I almost fell up on your from your store garage. Oh man, you need to know some stuff. Oh, oh God damn it, Dennis. I almost die. So we interrupt this program to bring you stunning footage of the damage that Dennis has done to my house. There's the brand new hole in my ceiling of my garage that we had not intended to put there. It's supposed to be made up of wood. No, it is not supposed to be made of wood, what Dennis. Is made of that? I don't know what... It's supposed to be made of drywall. So, uh, from now on, I'm gonna call this the Dennis hole. Hi, Dennis. Hello. Seriously, man. Jeez. All right. Okay, come on back up here and let's see if I can crawl back where I'm supposed to be. I could have died. See how I only step on the pieces of wood, Dennis? That is how you're supposed to do it. How did you know that? Um, I don't know. I thought everyone knew that. Who knew? Who knew? Oh, man. <laughs> Not that I would let Dennis have any, but Blue Apron allows you to create delicious chef-inspired food at home. They deliver all the farm fresh ingredients you need right to your doorstep in exactly the right proportions. No trip to the grocery store, no waste from unused ingredients. They've got a couple of different plans. There's the two-person plan and the family plan. And Blue Apron's recipes are delivered in a refrigerated box so the ingredients will stay fresh even if you're not at home when your package arrives. They offer a huge selection of recipes and are always adding new dishes to the menu every week. There is no commitment so you can skip or cancel the service at any time if you're going on vacation or you got a special occasion and each menu is between 800 and 500 calories per person. But the best part for me is that all the meals can be prepared in 40 minutes or less, meaning that Blue Apron actually takes less time than going out to eat. Not to mention that you're learning to make these recipes, so uh, hey, you're picking up a new life skill while you're at it. It's available in the USA, and the first 200 people will get three free meals off their first order using the link in the video description. So I think I've had enough for today. Let's call that part one of the world's most comfortable gaming setup. We'll be back with the finished product in part two. But in the meantime, guys, if you dislike this video, hit that dislike button. If you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed, maybe even consider supporting us. You can buy a cool shirt like this one at the link in the video description. You can join our community forum where you can ask questions, get questions answered. It's really a great community. Also linked in the video description. Also down there, we have a link to where to buy most of the stuff featured in our videos on Amazon, so uh, don't miss that as well. And once you're done doing all that stuff, hey, maybe check out that little eye in the top right corner where you can see our latest video over on Channel Super Fun.